Hello world, Ghostflash Drew here, back with another video. I'm gonna take you back in time, precisely this time last year, where I sustained an injury, and to my right hand, my dominant hand. First thing I did was put it under cold water and order an Uber to the hospital. And they ended up referring me to uh, Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. Here are some clips of uh, me at the time, suffering. <laughs> Surgery done, now just recovering. But yeah, yeah. I'm shattered. Thank you for all the nice messages. Yeah, I just went shop. Um, they had to take skin from my leg to put on my hand. Freedom, we are free. We are free. Hello, world. Hello, friends. I burnt myself with uh, cooking oil. They ended up taking skin off my leg. Just a bandage, basically, over my leg. They took the skin to put on here. So I'm gonna have my leg skin on my hand. That is weird. As you can see, past Andrew was very drugged up there and yeah, it was a bit wild and I was in so much pain like my hand was throbbing all the time it would do this weird sensation when I was in that oh splint, that's what they called it when removing the staples they gave me gas and this inhaler which was really good, the inhaler was really good and really strong but the pain was unbearable. Every night, someone was just digging into my hand and like pushing the skin together. Like, oh, the feeling and sensation. It was like a massage, really. You could feel like a ball. It would actually feel like there was a ball going into the groove of my hand and then around my hand like proper like some type of massage was going on it was the weirdest sensation ever but don't get it twisted even though i said a massage it was the most painful massage you'll ever feel so i'm gonna let um past drew take this bit away since he clearly wants to explain something <laughs> If I bend, you can see the knuckle will try to bleed there in the middle so I don't want to bend too much same thing, it will just start bleeding there and then like the top bit here um, you can just about make out the blood there but I kind of stopped bending when I saw the blood come in but this one's even more obvious, the thumb like try bend that and then it will just start bleeding at that wrinkle bit um, yeah this peak man but yeah i just try to keep it out as much as possible and then when i go work i try to just cover it up because this is butters bruv i have to give a big shout out to my family and friends for helping me through this traumatic time so what i was learning as time went on as long as i put a lot of pressure on the wound it will slowly like blend with my skin just to use lotion and just keeping it moisturized to the best of my ability that's why it's always shiny but it was necessary just to keep the skin hydrated slowly healing and slowly gaining full movement the stiffness that i was experienced back then is just yeah it was very painful I couldn't move my joints, my fingers, couldn't make a fist. As you can see, it was still a bit swollen, and especially my index finger. Very mentally challenging time for me. Even though I saw the healing, I didn't feel the healing. Because the pain and the hypersensitivity that I ended up encountering was mentally challenging for me. I always thought I had a good pain threshold when I was younger and I was depressed. I used to cut myself. So I, I definitely, it, it took me back to that type of pain. 
because I wanted to know how I managed to handle that mental pain and that block it out and try and do the same thing with my hands because it was just throbbing too much and at that time they didn't have a good painkiller for me um, they were giving me like painkillers for period pains and it's like what <laughs> come on guys what are you doing but yeah I think it was maybe January February time I got some some good painkillers that um, wouldn't necessarily stop the throbbing that I was experiencing but it definitely made it more manageable in my head um, especially doing everyday tasks like having a shower that was just the hardest I'm right hand dominant so yeah everything was a real challenge for me and I would get frustrated with myself very easily I wasn't the nicest person to be around sometimes yeah it was very challenging very challenging dealing with this injury so I would also like encounter a lot of blackheads forming on my hand and they said um, as long as I keep uh, using like a face towel rubbing it against my skin to get rid of the hypersensitivity and shed off the skin the blackheads would slowly go away yeah I didn't like the idea of shedding my skin <laughs> so I didn't really do that just uh, naturally let it do its thing I didn't want to like rub the skin off <laughs> I felt like if I kept rubbing it I was just creating more of the white scar tissue and it felt like I was just rubbing off my skin graft really so yeah I didn't really follow that recommendation by the phys physiotherapist the stiffness that I was going through here was pretty crazy oh, I did this by accident uh, I fell asleep one time with my hand in one of their like bandages basically they would put like a bandage wrap my hand back in a proper fist and I fell asleep with it really tight so when I woke up I couldn't even open my hand <laughs> let alone try and close it it was just so stiff and ah uh, yeah that was a, a, a dopey mistake, <laughs> falling asleep with that bandage on my hand. We only meant to keep it on for like half an hour to 45 minutes and then release the tension. Another sensation that was so frustrating for me was every time I was trying to move my fingers and exercise my joints, I could feel a lot of tightness in my skin and it felt like I just consistently kept getting paper cuts um, and the skin just cracking even though it was moisturized it was still cracking and having the hypersensitivity with like paper cuts sensation it, it was the only word that keeps coming to my head it was just so challenging to deal with the pain it, it would break me so much that I just wanted to not, just chill in it just not do nothing because my hand was just so my brain was just so tired from feeling the throbbing the hypersensitivity just the all-encompassing pain like it was just mental it was yeah it wasn't a great experience watching this back and how stiff my hand was back then and seeing the skin lifting up as well that was really painful that like skin flapping around oh <laughs> that was a challenging time back then but i've got through that tough time and slowly getting better they said it would take about two years but yeah I i'm pretty much nearly fully healed i would say it's just the stiffness still there can't fully make a fist my next uh, appointment with the physio is gonna be at the start of november early november hopefully i'll have full movement by then but 
Uh, it's just my brain being wishful thinking, really, but I would like to. I've been saying that for like ever now. It's been so long. I know I'll get there. It's just taken longer than I would have liked it to. And it's good watching this back because it shows how far I've come along. And in this healing process, don't play with hot oil. <laughs> You'll get burned. <laughs> they also gave me this like silicon plaster and um, I have a clip of it um, and it was irritating it took a while for my skin to get used to it I would get like these red um, bumps on my hand so these bumps would become very itchy very irritating and um, but I also noticed that when the bumps faded away my skin, the pigmentation, the color of my skin was not white, it was colored again. Could see some type of irritation that my skin wasn't liking it, but then after taking the plasters off and letting it calm down, the skin wasn't white and had more color to it. So it was interesting, um, these silicon plasters. Got to give a massive shout out to everyone at the Burns Unit at Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. Thank you for taking care of me and it's very much appreciated. So the next video I've got coming next is another family vlogish type video because of my hand and trying to work, juggling so many things at the same time. It's been hard to uh, finish all the editing for it. So please subscribe, like this video, so I know you want more content from me. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Take care and thanks again for watching.